I made about 100,000 gems every hour for the past 8 hours. I grinded for 8 hours last night and I'm about to improve that because I have now found an even better method. So I averaged 100,000 gems for every hour. I grinded for 8 hours last night. I had 461,000 gems. Now I have 1.33 million which equates to about 840,000 gems in 8 hours. Okay? So that's that's the math. One About 100,000 gems per hour. And I can improve that. And I'm gonna do that in this video the ultimate diamond farm method does it exist of course it does this is my final video on this subject i've been doing this is probably my fifth video on this this is my last video for a while because i bet there's gonna be more in the future when they have more updates you know things will change in coming updates but for now this will be my final for the next couple of weeks um so if you're a beginner people ask me what about the vip area yes the vip area does make sense if you're a beginner i'm gonna explain to you why when it makes sense and when it doesn't make sense to use the vip area now if you're also free to play also you need rank 11 the more ranks you have the better but if you're free to play you don't have these down here all right, I'm gonna switch this up. If you're a complete noob or semi-noob, you don't have a lot of huge pets. Actually, it doesn't matter. Let's say you have zero huge pets and you have no strong pets, but you got the VIP area, you know? Equip your best pets. What matters here now is your enchantments in this zone. So something like the Massive Comet will not work inside the VIP area. The Diamond Chest Mimic will not work in there too. Uh, you will need the Magnet 3 because it's going to reach all the magnets. It's going to reach all the diamonds pretty much. So I would get the, your best diamond. I got diamond 6, but let's say you only have diamonds 3 or diamonds 4. The better diamonds you can afford, the better, okay? The better diamonds you can afford, the better. The better enchantments, the better, okay? Two of these... And and then I would fortune, I would get two fortunes. Because the diamonds will start having diminishing returns. The books will have diminishing returns after two. Interestingly enough, I thought I had more than one fortune. Turns out I only have one. No, oh, two. I'm blind because of the goggles. I have two right there, idiot. <laughs> yeah, so in this situation inside the VIP area, I would just add more diamonds. Any of these... You know, criticals, treasure hunter, etc. They will not do anything inside the VIP area. So you would need to use something like fortune and a bunch of diamonds. There you go. And then you just AFK. You can see how fast it's going up. But the problem is though, since I have strong pets, right? It doesn't make sense for me to grind in this VIP area. See, I'm waiting for more diamonds. That's why the last zone rules. If you're getting strong, if you're noticing this... When you are in the VIP area, you are already too good for the VIP area. So, that's when you know when, when you should stop doing the VIP area. If, like, you're just waiting for diamonds to begin, you know, waiting for them to begin spawning. You can also place diamond flags and fortune flags inside of here. Increases diamond breakables by 2x last 5 minutes. You can also AFK this, I believe, with an auto clicker. Something like GS auto clicker or a tiny task. So you can record your clicks. But you can see here, it doesn't make sense for me to go... I'm too pro. I'm also doing a quick diamond test here for like a minute or maybe f let's do five minutes. Heck, I have to do 10 minutes just to see if it's better than the last zone. A few minutes later. It's been, t it's been 10 minutes and I'm at 16.6k. This is surprising. This is very similar, if not a little bit better than what I can get in the last zone every 10 minutes. So I'm going to go for another 10 minutes just to see if it's diminishing. Just to see if it diminishes, if it becomes less. Okay. It was at this moment that he knew. He f***ed up. Okay, it's been 20 minutes. It's been 20 minutes and it's not really diminishing. It's about 16,000 every 10 minutes. Now, keep in mind, I can only do 69 pets equipped. And I have rank 9. I need the last enchant. Now I want to focus on the last zone. Now I saw May Rochat post a video a few days ago. One day after me, because I've been doing a lot of diamond videos. He did a video right after me and he got so many gems. But also it's because he has a full team of Titanic pets. All of them with uh, charms. But one thing he made a mistake on was the enchantments. I'm pretty sure he... I'm not completely sure, but I'm pretty sure he used too much of the same enchantment. He was using the Diamond Chest Mimic. Like, only that. He was only using Diamond Chest Mimic on his account, is what I saw. Like, just a bunch of Diamond Chest Mimics completely filled up. And to be honest with you, I don't think it's the best way to go about it. He could have gotten way more if he had mixed it up. 
And now for the interesting part of the video. I just need to trade my old account to get rid of the gems. Well, this is the old account's gems. 1.33 million. W. 11.1 million. Oh my god, I'm broke! <laughs> so for this part, I'm gonna do a test with me and a viewer of mine from Saudi Arabia. He is actually quite good at this because I just talked with him and he claimed that he got uh, a few days ago. He got, um, I don't know what it was. It was like uh, half a million or so or 600,000 gems in just a couple of hours. And I actually did that too a few days ago. And it's because I've been using other enchantments in the past that was actually better than what I'm doing now. Obviously, we're not going to have this here for this test. We're going to... Uh, maybe I'm going to use three of these, okay? Then I'm going to use... He's going to use something different. That's the interesting part of this test. He's going to use a different setup. And we're going to see who's going to perform better. And I think he's going to perform better than me. So therefore, I'm just going to be like, okay, let's just do three diamond sixes here. Maybe two fortunes. And then, wait a minute. I would do the massive comet here. I would also, yeah, diamond chest mimic. I have to do like this. Two diamond sixes, diamond chest mimic, massive comet. Mm, no, I have a better solution. But for now, just to compare with him, I have a better solution. But for this, I'm going to do this on purpose to show you that he might actually get more than me. Unless, I don't know, he just bought this one, but he doesn't have the diamond chest mimic. All right, let's get him in the call. All right, so let's do this test. You do what you think is your best setup, and we go, for, right, ten, okay. we go for 10 minutes, right? Yes. Tell me when you're ready. All right. Are we going to use any f potions? Uh, since I have nothing on, uh, we, we use no potions. Nothing? No, I, no fruits? I think... I think no, nothing. O only enchants. All right. Just to let the viewers okay. know, if you use fruits, you know that. Potions, you know. It's going to help yes. a lot. It's going to help a lot. And you try and use, for example, candy cane, hot cocoa, and uh, toy ball. All these things right here. And fortune flag. It's going to help a lot. But for this test, we do without. With nothing, yeah. Just to see who got the better enchantments. Or maybe the better right. pets. Yes. I mean, uh, we have basically the same pets, right? Same pets. I have 69 pets equipped. How many do you? I have 65. All right. So I can equip a little bit more than you. So it's going to be... It's very similar. And I think the only difference we will see is the enchantments. Yeah. You have picked your favorite enchantments? Yeah, I have two criticals. Uh, 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 you have to uh. reveal it after the test. Okay. Okay, all right, all right. All right, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. I'm going to set up my timer real quick. Yeah, I'm going to set a timer too. In five, four, three, two, one, go. Okay. All right, there we go. I have 9,700 gems to begin with. I have 694, okay. Later. 10 there, minutes, there's... 10 minutes now. Stop. Yeah, I've made 23,000 okay. minus 6,000. 6,000, that's 4,000. Well, I made 17,000 gems in 10 minutes. How much did you So make? I made 9 plus 5, which is 14k. How much did I say I make? 17,000? 17,000, yeah. And you made 14k. So you made only yes. 3,000 less. And you have four yes. less pets than me. I have four more pets than you do. Yeah. There we go, 10 minutes. I actually only made about 11,000 gems in 10 minutes this time. How much did you make? I can't hear him. I don't know if he died. So I, I think maybe the treasure hunter doesn't do anything. Because we've been debating if the treasure hunter actually gives you drops. But I think it gives you items when it drops. It doesn't give you loot bags. That's the thing we've been debating. If, it's give, if it gives you loot bags, I don't think it gives you loot bags. Alright, so I made 13... Yeah, 13,000. Can you do math for me? Th 34,800. So 35,000. I made 13,800. Thir 13,800? Yeah. So wait, how much did you have before? 35k, right? Yeah. How much do you have now? 48,000. 13,000 I made or so. That's less than before. I'm, I'm... I got 17k in the first test. Oh. Uh, well, I, I got 14k from the massive comets. Yeah, maybe it's because you so... need to. You cannot always trust in 10 minutes that they will get a massive comet. Yeah. Alright, dude. I think that's it. Later. Dude, I just hit the jackpot. 96.9k bag of diamonds. Dude, remember to use the daycare. Remember to use the daycare. So what I use is just the witch cat. I do 20 of those. How did it give me 96,000? Doesn't make sense. Is there a glitch in the daycare again? Dude, how the heck did that happen? You know, before I put the pets in, it said I could get 60, like what it says, 63.8k. That's what it promised me with these pets. And I got 96 from it? 
dude, the daycare is broken again. <laughs> you might be able to get more. So I just want to do one last test here with critical six. Treasure Hunter 6, 2 Diamond 6, Diamond Chest Mimic, Massive Comet, Magnet 3. You got 2 imps here. How about we give it more imps? Right here. Oh, that's my main account, I'm sorry. Right here. And there you go, 4 rainbow imps. 131k, another 10 minutes test. Go. Later. Alright, it's been 10 minutes now. 145 from 131k, that's... um. 14,000, okay? So, still haven't beaten the first time I did it. I'm gonna do one one last test. <coughs> Two fortune books. Da you could change you can change this to diamond sevens if you have it. What if I remove the massive comet? And then put in uh, critical six. Where the heck did the magnet flag come from? Who's this idiot? Begin. Later. Alright, here we go. It's been 10 minutes. 206,000. Let me get this one here. From 191,000, that's 14,000. I'm sorry, 15,000. 15,000. It's safe to assume that maybe two fortune books, one critical. If I had rank 11, I would maybe add the treasure hunter here or another critical six. The only way we can find out is once I reach rank 11. <laughs> okay, once I reach rank 11, I can do another test for you. But I think right here, don't do three diamonds, two diamonds at most. A critical seems to be quite important to have a critical. You can get critical seven if you can afford it. And then uh, two fortune, the magnet. Yeah, this is, I think this might be up there. This is probably the best, if not the second. I just need rank 11, but you know, if you're free to play, and you, you can't have these and you have rank 11 you can have uh, if you're free to play that means you have five slots then i would use two diamond sevens or sixes a diamond chest mimic maybe not the massive comet it's been nerfed so much yeah a critical six two diamond sixes diamond chest mimic and a fortune book so put a fortune book up there at rank 11 if you're completely free to play don't look at this down here then you don't have magnet i'm sorry then you would add magnet here you might have to do your own tests with free to play but you get the drift if you use more than two books it doesn't really work just for the heck of it, I'm gonna do one more test with all the potions just to show you that this is very OP. We're just gonna do damage potions 3 because I'm a brokey. Speed potion is very important as well. Damage potion. I got 24 damage potions. 5. Let's do 1. And then we're gonna do candy cane. Squeaky toy. Christmas cookie. Oranges. It gives you 1% damage and it stacks. That was too many. That means I have to AFK for a couple of hours. Uh, and uh, hot cocoa. Pineapple. Increases chances for drops. Banana? Nah, that's just for coins. Toy ball? Run three times as fast for five minutes each. And uh, that's about it. And uh, we do a fortune flag. Later. So it's been ten minutes now, but I forgot to add the fortune flag one minute late because it's, it only goes for five minutes. And now I was sleeping on the wheel. Um, Let's just round that up to 248,000 gems because of the fortune flag being late. It's definitely not... Oh, now it's 249. Then maybe it is 248. So it was 248 from 207. 38,000 plus three. 41,000 times six because that's 60 minutes 246k yeah it's the same as before this has to be like the best method i have done this before this is the best setup two fortunes i could be wrong though what if i'm wrong what if it's treasure hunter six i don't think treasure hunter is good to be honest it just gives you items it doesn't give you diamonds if i had one more slot i would add critical six or seven you know critical sevens diamond sevens two of each two fortunes a diamond chest mimic frick this one not so good yeah, I wouldn't use the massive comment. It's not good. This one gives you more. What if I use two diamond chest mimics? Ooh, interesting. Match later. I've been doing so many tests and editing my video that the daycare is now ready to be claimed. Let's see if it gives me that crazy amount again. Claim all. Nope, it did not. How the heck did it get 96,000 in the first time? I'm using the same pets again. There's definitely something broken with the daycare and I love it. Alright, see you in the next one.